Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. It is 2019, a brand new year. I'm super excited to be uploading today. I hope you all had a wonderful night last night and a Merry Christmas and just a wonderful holiday season. It is so crazy that 2018 is over. I feel like it happened in the blink of an eye. Now that I say that expression, it sounds like I'm saying it wrong, but hopefully I'm saying it right. <laughs> 2018 was a big transition year for me, just trying on a lot of new things and I have a lot of new adventures coming up in 2019 that I'm really excited about. So I thought today it would be really fun to show you guys sort of my best beauty finds of 2018 in the clean beauty industry and I will apply them to my face as I am telling you guys about them. So hopefully this interests you and hopefully you enjoy the video. So I tried to pick products that I used consistently all throughout 2018 so I didn't delve into things that I've tried more recently. For example, like all the Kier Weiss products. I don't feel like it's fair to include any of them really in this video because I just tried them a couple of weeks ago. So they're not like 2018 favorites. Is this really happening again? Some things just never change. There's always construction when I'm trying to film. I'm gonna hold up and see if I can figure out when this is gonna end. Hold on. So if you didn't realize, I filmed towards the front of my house and I live in an older house so the walls are like not super soundproof. That's why there's always noise whenever I'm trying to film and it's so frustrating but I get the best natural light here so I obviously want to film here anyway you probably don't care about that little rant so <laughs> let's just continue with the video I'm gonna be doing like an everyday look with these products just because it is the morning time and I'm gonna go out and live my day after I put all this on so it's not gonna be anything super fancy but I am excited to talk to you about these products so first step of my routine is always an SPF and the two products that are tied for my favorites for different reasons are very very obviously, let me see if you can guess it. Did you guess it? The Suntegrity 5-in-1 Tinted Face Sunscreen and the Hint Beauty Sun Prep SPF 25. So I like these two for different reasons. If I want something with a little bit of coverage, then I always reach for this. If I want something that's transparent or I'm wearing something underneath makeup and I don't need extra coverage, then I go for this. So today, because we're going to be layering foundation and such over the top of it, I'm going to go for the Hint Beauty. Quick note about the Suntegrity Foundation. I do have a full review on it that I will link, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it's very lightweight. It works really well for my skin and it gives me a glow. I did review the Impeccable Skin. I didn't like that one as much for my skin as the Suntegrity 5 one It was just a more matte finish and I prefer the glowier finish, but still a great product. I'm going to apply one pump of this Hint Beauty sunscreen and just rub that between my fingers and you'll see it literally applies transparent. It makes such a great base for products, like a great primer, I guess you could say. And um, it's totally transparent. Now, the scent, I know it's not for everyone, I personally love it and it's really this product is just like a joy to put on. It makes SPF seem a lot more fun. <laughs> One thing I really like about this product too is that it immediately dries on your skin so it's not super sticky, it doesn't slip around, it really stays in place. So for the next category, which is foundations, this was really tough for sort of base products in general. I feel like there were so many launches of base products in 2018 in terms of the clean beauty industry. It was kind of incredible and I got to try a lot of them, which was really fun. I have two that I wanted to share with you guys today. One is an option if you are okay using silicone, then I think the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation, which does have dimethicone in it, that's why I say if you're not okay with silicone, then this won't be for you. But I do think that this foundation was an incredible launch. It is very much like a conventional foundation in terms of texture, weight, it lasts a really long time. I just found that every time I would wear it, I would get a lot of compliments on it and how my skin looks. So this is just a great foundation to have in your kit. The other one that made my 2018 favorites is the Gressa Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation. I just think the fact that it's so versatile and you can get either a very full coverage look or a really light coverage look is really wonderful depending on whether you like sheer out the foundation or not with oil. I will say the only downside about this is the shade range. It is hard to find your shade in it and that's sort of the one caveat. So that's why I'm also recommending the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation where I feel like there is a wider variety of shades and you'll be able to find something in this. Since this is sort of an everyday look, I'm going to mix it with an oil. Now this isn't technically in my favorites video, but I'm going to be mixing it with the Cure Weiss oil. And if I had tried it earlier in the year, it would have made the list because I really, really love it. But I just feel like it's not fair to 
put it in this video since it hasn't been that long. So I'm just gonna do one generous drop of this on the back of my hand, and this probably won't be enough for my whole face once I share it out, but let's see. And then I don't really know how these two play together. I've only mixed the Gresso oil with this, but I prefer this oil, so. We're gonna see how it plays. I am using the Gressa brush. I really like this to apply Gressa foundation. Just think it works really well. And I'm just gonna start at the center of my face and sheer it out. Oh, the Cure Ice oil smells so good. So like I said, I really like this foundation just because it's so versatile. You can wear it like I'm wearing it right now, which is pretty sheer, or you can really build it up and have it be a super full coverage foundation. Okay, next I'm gonna go in and actually just do a little bit of spot concealing. I didn't really bring the foundation out to the very edge of my face. I sort of left the coverage in the middle and then just dragged whatever I could out towards the side of my face. So I do need a little bit of extra coverage and I don't want to apply too heavy of a layer of foundation for just day use. So I'm gonna go in with the Hint Beauty Concealer. Now if I was basing favorites off of sheer use, this is probably would be like my ultimate favorite because I use this pretty much every day this year. It's definitely one of the best concealers I've tried. I just honestly haven't tried that many concealers. So I can't really tell you whether or not it's incredible, but I do like it better than the Vapor Organic Beauty Concealer, the Lily Lolo Mineral Powder Concealer, as well as the Well People Bio Corrector. The Well People Bio Corrector and the Vapor Organic Beauty Concealer, I like to use under my eyes, but I don't enjoy them over like blemishes or anything like that. The Mineral Concealer, I like over like red active blemishes or as a finishing powder, but I don't love it over drier blemishes because then it just sort of clings to it. So this one is sort of a good middle ground between all of them, but it's not technically in my 2018 favorites. The next product is obviously a holy grail product for me. Uh, it is the Dr. Hauschka Brow and Lash Gel. It is a clear brow gel that just really sets your eyebrows in place. It has never gotten chunky on me. I have never had like weird white blobs in my eyebrow like I sometimes get from other products. So this is just totally a winner. I'm still using the original one that I got. I really need to get a new one of these. That is something I will be purchasing very soon because I'm officially getting like the last little bit of product out of this tube, so I actually really need a new one now. So the next favorite for 2018 is two eyeshadow palettes, one that's high end, one that's low end. So the low end one is the Honest Beauty Get It Together eyeshadow palette. This is $20 and you just get great products for your money, um, safe products for your money. I really, really like the color selection that they came up with. It is, it will work on so many different skin tones, which I really appreciate. And I just think it's a great palette to have. I really do. And I think the price, you cannot beat it. It's $20. You can get it at Target. You can get it on Amazon. On. It's really easy to find. Now if you're wanting to spend a little bit more money, then I would highly recommend the Aether Beauty Rose Quartz Crystal Gemstone Palette. Just the formulas are super buttery, super easy to work with. Pigment is great in all of these, and they're just really pretty shades that you can use a lot of different ways. This is a great palette too. This one is a little bit pricier. I think it's $58, although they do tend to run sales, so keep your eye out for that. Today I'm gonna be using the Honest Beauty Palette because like I said, I think there's great just everyday colors colors in it. And I want to show you guys how wonderful these pigments are. So I'm going to be using this kind of mauve color all over my lid. As you can see, the pigment is really great in these colors and they're pretty easy to blend. Taking a smaller brush, I'm just going to dip into this dark brown color. I'm just going to use a little bit of this since this is daytime and lay it close to the lash line in the outer corner and then just like blend it whatever's left up into the crease. This is definitely more than I would do on the average day but I think sitting down and filming sort of inspires me to put on more makeup so that is what we're doing. <laughs> And then just to lighten up this look a little bit, since again, this is a daytime look, I'm gonna go into um, that light shell sparkly champagne color and place that at the inner corner. Just gonna apply a little bit of mascara. Honestly, I didn't have a mascara favorite from 2018. I just don't feel like I've totally found my formula. I've found products that work. For example, this is the Hint Beauty mascara, which I actually really love when I put it on. However, it smudges on me, and I think that's because I tend to wear oilier products underneath my eyes and I think it breaks down a little bit. 
However, if this doesn't smudge on you, it is a beautiful mascara. So that's sort of the experiences that I've been having this year. Like, I don't dislike any mascara, it's just it doesn't really work for me, so I can't say, oh my gosh, this is a holy grail product for 2018. If you guys have any mascara suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. I'm definitely someone who <laughs> uses products even if I don't particularly love them until they're done. I just feel like there's a lot of waste in this world. When we're talking about beauty products, like, you know, I can live with a smudgy mascara. I'm just more conscious about it during the day. I check in to make sure that nothing's underneath my eyes, that sort of thing. So that's sort of my philosophy towards my entire collection is that I only keep things that I know I will use up. I just hate the idea of throwing stuff away. That also means that sometimes my reviews will be slower to come up because I'm trying to finish a product before I open something new. So if you guys ever suggest something and then you don't see it until months later, I totally apologize for that. It's just because I don't want to open something unless I've actually finished sort of its counterpart that I'm using currently. So that's kind of why it takes a little bit longer to see your ideas into actual videos, but I hope you guys understand that. For blush, there has really only been one product that I've been using consistently, unless I'm using like a lipstick on my cheeks as well, and that is the Kosas Color and Light Cream Palette in 8th Muse. These are just gorgeous colors. The highlight is really pretty, but honestly for me, the star of the show is the blush. It is just super easy to wear. I mean, you can see I have like a giant finger indent in it. I've been using it non-stop since I got it. It's really hard to apply too much. It blends super easily. And I just feel like for me, this is my perfect everyday blush. It doesn't look super overdone. I can wear this over just SPF or whatever. And it, like I said, it layers beautifully. It lasts for a long time, which is really nice. Sometimes cream products actually sink into your skin faster, it feels like, and this one definitely hangs around. It's also super easy to pop this in your purse and like just a quick little touch up because there is a mirror in here can make all the difference and really make you look a lot fresher. So this was the blush in this was one of my favorite finds for 2018. I almost included the tinted face oil as well. I use that a lot but I tend to reach for my sun integrity more than the tinted face oil now so I felt like although that's a great product I haven't been using it a lot recently so I just didn't want to include anything that like I don't reach for all the time. With before bronzing up my face, I am gonna add a highlighter. This has been my go-to everyday highlighter, so it for sure makes the list of my 2018 favorites. This is the Halo Illuminator in Moonlight from Vapor Organic Beauty. It is such a gorgeous highlighter. It is such a natural highlighter, and it just really reflects light in such a nice way. I know it's sometimes hard to see on camera, but it is so natural and I really, really like that because although I'm all for like dewiness and you know, being very reflective, I never want chunks of glitter on my face. I never want stuff to look really fake unless I'm going for more of like a costumey look or anything like that. That's just my personal style. I want it to look like everything's just enhanced and this really gives me that look. Super happy I found this product. Again, very easy to work with. You don't have to worry about applying too much. I would definitely suggest this if you are new to highlighter and just wanting to try it out. I've used this on my mom when I've done her makeup, all of my sisters, so it works for a variety of skin types and a variety of ages, which I really like as well. And yeah, you just get this glowing, perfect dewiness that I absolutely love. So next we're gonna do some bronzing and I don't think this will come as a surprise either. I've been using it nonstop ever since I got it and it is the Malibu Bronzer from Han Skincare Cosmetics. I really love this color. It just works super well for my skin tone. Yeah, it's just the right color. It's like the perfect contour color but I can also use it to warm up my skin. It's just that middle tone brown that's not too warm, not too cool. Definitely not orangey, which is something that I'm very careful of. I <laughs> don't like the idea of looking orangey. And yeah, the formula is just really buttery, easy to use again. I like to use this as an eyeshadow. You can just get away with using this so many different ways. So three ways that I've just described, just to sum it up. I can use it as a contour, I can use it as a bronzer, and I can use it as an eyeshadow. And today I'm just sort of doing 
a little of everything. Now they do have it in other shades, so I would go on and check to see if there's a different shade that would work better for your skin tone if you don't have the same skin tone as me. However, if you do have the same skin tone as me, I would highly recommend Malibu. It is a matte bronzer. There is no shimmer in this, which is actually kind of hard to find. And I'm not against shimmer, I just like to have the option not to have shimmer, especially with powder products. I feel like with cream products, shimmer can be more like light reflective and a little bit easier to work with and make it look a little bit more natural. However, with powder products, if there is shimmer, then it's like sparkle. And I just don't like that look. So I'm definitely a matte powder kind of person and this just checked so many boxes. So last but not least, we have lip products, and I've definitely made some great discoveries this year. I have two products I wanna share with you. I use them two different ways. Not totally sure which one I'm actually gonna use for this look, but the first one is the Vapor Organic Beauty Velvet Gloss and Nomad. This is just a beautiful formula. I'm gonna put this on just to show you. It just adds like a little stain and a glossy effect, but you get none of the stickiness. So I'm not totally sure how they formulated it or like what's really in it, but I just love the fact that you get the gloss, you get the shine, you get sort of a stained look, but it's not sticky at all. It's so comfortable to wear and it actually feels really hydrating as it's wearing off. So this is a really comfortable thing to wear pretty much every day. I've honestly found myself reaching for lipstick more often than that, but definitely towards the beginning of the year, I was using this nonstop and I still really consider it a favorite because the formula is so wonderful. As far as lipstick goes, the Kosas lipsticks have been my favorite. They're just super buttery, super soft, really conditioning, and they sort of got me hooked on lipstick again. I'm kind of iffy on lipsticks. I sometimes really like them and then other times I feel like they settle into lines on my lips or they fade weird or make my lips super chapped and this sort of got rid of all of those fears. Uh, I have it in the color rose water and this is a great everyday lip color. They have a lot of different shades so you can check it out but I would definitely try out these formulas. I think they're beautiful. You guys have seen me apply this enough so I won't apply this today but it is a wonderful lipstick and this is the last product of my 2018 favorites. All right guys I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me 2018 favorites guide there have been a lot of wonderful products that i've reviewed on my channel this year so make sure to go through my videos and see if there's anything else that would interest you yeah i'm just feeling super grateful going into the new year and that there are just a lot of exciting things to look forward to i hope you guys had a wonderful 2018 and we'll have an even better 2019 if you have any new year's resolutions please let me know down in the comments below i'd love to hear them if you guys like this sort of video and you want to see something in terms of like hair care skin care those sort of favorites definitely let me know in the comments down below as well and I can put that up for you guys but I thought we would focus on beauty today so like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for watching if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe down below for videos always featuring clean green beauty and next week will be the interview with Tyla the founder of Aether Beauty so I'm super excited for that I think you guys will really like it Heads up, it is a long one, so either get ready to listen to it while you're doing other stuff or get a cup of coffee, get some snacks ready, and get ready to watch. All right, I'm sending so much love out your way. Thank you as always. Last year was a really wonderful year on my YouTube channel. It grew so much. Um, I got to work with a lot of incredible brands and try a lot of incredible products. And of course, the most important part, I got to connect with a lot of you. So that was really wonderful. And I'm so looking forward to that continuing in 2019. All right, guys, I will see you next week. Bye.